Hi, welcome to Gas Group. In this episode of Wheels of Change, story of Chinese auto giants, let's talk about the legacy of Dongfeng Motor. Dongfeng Motor Corporation was built and thrived through its military origins. Its predecessors, the Second Automobile Works, SAW of China, founded it in 1969. Initially served as a military enterprises, producing vehicles for the People's Liberation Army of China. Their military vehicles laid the foundation for SAW. Commercial vehicles paved the way for the development of the Dongfeng brand. Dongfeng's first significant milestone was the production of the Dongfeng 140 Wang, its first media duty truck, marking the beginning of Dongfeng's commercial vehicle's legacy. On the other hand, Dongfeng's passenger vehicle journey started with joint ventures. In 1992, Dongfeng embarked with a joint venture strategy, producing its first jointly developed sedan, Fu Kang, which marked the beginning of Dongfeng's passenger car business. Thereafter, Dongfeng established multi joint ventures with global OEM, such as Nissan Motor, Citroen, Pigeon, and Honda Motor. In 2002, Dongfeng began to focus on the development and the promotion of its own brand and officially established the Dongfeng Passenger Vehicle Department in 2007, whose name was changing into Dongfeng Passenger Vehicle Company two years later. In 2009, the FPV introduced its own passenger car brand, Alice, followed by other brands such as Forcing and Forum. In a bid to compete amidst a new energy vehicle transformation, Dongfeng Motor first introduced a series of BEV and PHEV models such as Dongfeng Forcing EV and Dongfeng Alice AX7 PHEV. Subsequently, it set up dedicated new energy vehicle brands such as Nantu, Mengshi, Nami, and Dongfeng Yipai. Despite the expanding brand matrix, Dongfeng Motors' performance has been declining in recent years. Its annual sales dropped from 3.458 million vehicles in 2020 to 2.42 million vehicles in 2023. The main reasons behind the downturn include a significant slip in sales of traditional oil-filled vehicles, with a marginal increase in new energy vehicles falling to offset the gap. Meanwhile, Dongfeng Motors' operating income decreased from 108.4 billion RMB in 2020 to 92.6 billion RMB in 2022. To turn around the situation, Dongfeng is accelerating its transition to new energy vehicles. In 2021, Dongfeng launched the Eastern Wind Rising Plan and Leap Forward Action for Technological Innovation. In 2023, it unveiled the three-year transformation and upgrading action and plans to invest 50 billion RMB in the field of own brand new energy vehicles. To this end, Dongfeng is further gathering resources encouraging the production and sales scale of new energy vehicles, and optimizing its system capability to better compete in the field's market. Consequently, Dongfeng Motors' R&D investment is increasing year by year. According to the company's 2022 financial report, Dongfeng's R&D investment reached more than 8 billion RMB, up 11.74% over 2021 with new energy R&D investment reaching 3.78 billion RMB, soaring 114.4% year-on-year. In the first half of 2023, Dongfeng's R&D investment amounted to 3.46 billion RMB, rising 12.62% over 2022, with new energy R&D investment standing at 1.56 billion RMB, a 49.3% jump from a year ago. Under comprehensive reforms, Dongfeng Motors and EV sales achieved a marginal increase in 2023, reaching 524,000 vehicles, mainly due to the growth of the Nantu brand. Data shows that Nantu sales surpassed 50,000 vehicles in 2023, a year-on-year -year increase of 160%, and successfully achieved the monthly sales exceeding 10,000 vehicles in December last year. However, due to continuous expansion of investment, Dongfeng Motors' losses were also intensified. On March 8 this year, Dongfeng Motors issued a profit warning, expecting a net loss contributable to shareholders 
of not more than 4 billion RMB for the full year 2023. This marks the first time since its listing in 2005 that the group's net profit contributable to shareholders has turned negative. Dongfeng Motor Group Corporation Limited, a listed subsidiary of Dongfeng Motor Corporation on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, serves as the automaker's main capital operating platform, overseeing several joint ventures like Dongfeng Honda and Dongfeng Pigeon Citra, as well as a wholly owned subsidiary including Dongfeng Passenger Vehicle Company, Lantu and Mengshi Technology. In August 2023, Dongfeng Motor announced a significant adjustment of its independent new energy passenger vehicle business, integrating the management of Atlas, EPI, and the NAMI brands, which were previously under different entities. According to Dongfeng, the unified management of the three brands is part of the response to the rapid development of the NEV industry. Specifically, Dongfeng will establish the Dongfeng Passenger Vehicle Sales Corporation Limited and the Dongfeng Passenger Vehicles Manufacturing Headquarters, unifying the brand's marketing, manufacturing, product planning, and project management, aiming to centralize business operations, manufacturing, and marketing. Additionally, Dongfeng's headquarters will directly take charge of the self-owned passenger vehicles brand's operation. It hopes that this structural adjustment we are streamline management levels, enhance decision-making efficiency, and seize opportunities in the rapid involving new energy vehicle market. The competition between China's NEV market has gone into a systematic rivalry, rather than solely rely on individual products and brands. Dongfeng's restructuring has facilitated the refinement of its brand system. Moreover, Dongfeng Motor laid out specific plans for the three major products, nine ups on the Dongfeng brand. Dongfeng Atlas will accelerate its transformation from oil field vehicles to energy-efficient vehicles. Dongfeng Epi will be positioned as a mainstream new energy vehicle brand, and Dongfeng Nami will primarily target the compact all-electric vehicle market. Thus, Dongfeng has officially established a comprehensive brand portfolio encompassing Mengshi for premier electric off-road vehicles, Nantu for high-end new energy vehicles, and the Dongfeng brand for the mass market in the passenger car field. As we mentioned before, Dongfeng has been pouring its resources into development of new energy vehicles in recent years. Back in 2005, Dongfeng Motor Group debuted on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange becoming one of the earliest Chinese state-owned automobile giants to go public in Hong Kong. Fast forward 15 years to 2020, Dongfeng Motor Group returned to Shanghai stock market, forming a dual listing pattern. At the same time, Dongfeng kicked off its first refinancing plan since going public, aiming to raise 21 billion RMB in total. The primary purpose of this financing was to increase investments in the development of new energy passenger car projects, next-generation automobiles, and innovative technology. In July 2020, Dongfeng introduced its high-end new energy passenger car brand, Lantu. Roughly 7 billion RMB of the total funds raised were impact for this new brand. However, Lantu struggled to meet expectations. By the end of 2020, its accumulative annual sales were merely 19,400 units, nearly 40% below its annual target of 31,000 units. Nonetheless, Dongfeng remained resolute in its commitment to new energy development. In early 2023, the company launched its new energy strategy layout and implemented the three-year transformation and upgrading action plan for the years of 2023 to 2025. By 2024, Dongfeng Motor aimed to only launch electrified models under its wholly owned passenger car brands. By 2025, new energy vehicles should account for 50% of its self-owned brand sales and 70% of its own brand passenger car sales. To this end, Dongfeng was continuously refreshing its brand matrix and expanding its competitive advantages in 2023. Mengshi, the luxury electric off-road vehicle brand, debuted its flagship model, the Mengshi 917, 
than to introduce the new or revamped models such as Zhiguang CDM, the all-new free SUV, and the all-new Dreamer MPV. Atlas launched its first battery electric SUV, the Sky EV01, riding on the Alio-based lightweight platform Mahe-E. Moreover, Dongfeng Motor launched the Dongfeng E-Pi mainstream tech-driven electric vehicle brand, as well as the Nami battery electric vehicle brand. As a result, Dongfeng has established a comprehensive brand portfolio covering luxury, high-end, mainstream, and compact segments in the new energy passenger car sector. In the commercial vehicle sector, Dongfeng is actively transitioned as well. In the media and heavy-duty truck segment, it has formed a differentiated development pattern and three self-owned brands, including Dongfeng, Chenlong, and Huaxian. On the other hand, the company's light commercial vehicle unit is exploring new markets to meet the electrification demands in the field of modern urban logistics and public services. Dongfeng's new energy commercial vehicle sector, including BEV, PHEV, and fuel cell vehicles, saw year-on-year -year sales increasing in 2023, reaching 71,000 units. With a series of strategies such as launching new products and reducing prices, Nantu, the brand spreading Dongfeng's NEV transformation efforts, finally made a breakthrough. Its sales surged 160% year-on-year to 50,500 units in 2023. To facilitating the flourishing across its self-owned brands, Dongfeng wasted no time in rolling out new products in 2024. On January 7, Dongfeng Nami launched and delivered its first model, the Nami 01. On February 14, Dongfeng Epi kicked off fixed orders for its first model, the EPI 007. In the first quarter of 2024, Dongfeng Atlas plans to put the Hao Han PHEV onto the market. Dongfeng embarked on its overseas market expansion as early as 1983, when it established an import and export company, becoming the first automotive enterprise to obtain foreign trade operating rights in China. Subsequently, Dongfeng officially ventured into overseas markets. After a year of efforts, Dongfeng gradually formed its own approach in exploring overseas markets by building factories, opening stores, producing customized products, and sharing technological resources. In April 2012, Dongfeng released its mid-term overseas business plan, and its import and export company transformed from a comprehensive trading company into an overseas sales company. From then on, Dongfeng began to accelerate its globalization process. In September 2012, Dongfeng acquired the Swedish company T-Technology AB, established its first overseas R&D base in Sweden. Following that, Dongfeng set up its first overseas KD assembly base in Iran and its first overseas sales company in Russia. In the meantime, the automaker built dealerships to promote passenger cars in IC countries like Vietnam. By 2018, Dongfeng had sold over 800,000 vehicles overseas with more than 30 types of vehicles models covering passenger, commercial, heavy-duty, light, and microcars, which were exported to over 80 countries and regions globally. In February 2018, Dongfeng launched its 2018-2020 to midterm overseas business plan aiming to achieve sales of 150,000 vehicles overseas by 2020 and enter mainstream Europe and American auto markets. From 2019 to 2020, affected by international situations and products revamps, Dongfeng's KD project exports was hindered, leading to a production hub for some export models. In 2020, Dongfeng's automobile exports totaled only 68,800 units, less than half of the company's midterm overseas sales target. In early 2022, Dongfeng instructed its import and export company to focus on increasing exports of Dongfeng's own brand vehicles and set a global achieving 5,000 units of annual export volume for the Atlas brand alone. Therefore, Dongfeng Atlas, along with Dongfeng's technical center, and the International Business Department restructured its overseeing team, established a dedicated platform, actively expanded automobile exports, and successfully achieved its target 
with annual overseas sales surging from 730 units to over 6,000 units. In April 2023, Dongfeng continued to ramp up its presence in overseas markets. Its plan to synergize the development of globally oriented vehicle models and pushing its new energy vehicle brands into developed countries in Europe. By 2025, Dongfeng's wholly owned brands exports are expected to account for less than 10% of the total sales. Currently, Dongfeng Atlas has successfully entered South America, the Middle East, and other regions. Lantu has front into Norway, Finland, Denmark, Russia, and the UAE, among others, and then continues to expand its overseas models line up. In January 2024, Dongfeng's import and export company signed a cooperation agreement with Spanish Savado Catano Group, announcing that Lantu, Mengshi, and Dongfeng branded electric vehicles will be launched in Spain, Portugal, and other countries in 2024. On the other hand, Dongfeng's commercial vehicle brand is also actively expanded into overseas markets. Currently, Dongfeng has realized prominent growth in regional markets such as Africa and Southeast Asia. From January to October last year, Dongfeng exported 1,269 commercial vehicles in Africa alone, exceeding the four-year total in 2022. Moreover, Dongfeng's tractors hold over 90% of share in the Myanmar market. In 2023, Dongfeng exported 12,500 commercial vehicles to overseas markets, representing a year-on-year surge of 181.7%.